Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about synthetic division. What is synthetic division? According to Wikipedia, it is a method for manually performing Euclidean division of polynomials with less writing and fewer calculations than that of long division of polynomial. It is mostly taught for a division by binomials of the form x minus a. So synthetic division is another way of dividing polynomials. The only difference is that it's shorter compared to the long division. How is synthetic division performed? So we have several steps. And step one is you find the value of your c. Step two is you arrange the polynomials in descending power. So make sure na yung highest um, power natin, yun yung nauuna, sunod-sunod siya. And then if there is any term na missing, let's say x squared yung nawawala, lalagyan nyo ng zero. So step three natin, write all numerical coefficients. So, sinabi ko earlier, kung nawawala yung x squared, so yung space para sa x squared ay lalagyan nyo ng zero. So, later on, mas maiintindihan nyo with the examples that we have. Step 4, bring down the leading coefficient to the bottom row. Step 5 is you multiply C by the value just written on the bottom row. Step 6 is the add, to add the column created in step 3. And step 7 is to repeat until done. First example natin is x cubed plus 7x squared plus 7x minus 6 divided by x plus 2. Okay, first step natin is for us to get the value of c. So, paano siya kukunin? Using your divisor, transpose nyo yung positive 2. So, ang value na makukuha natin dyan is negative 2. Next step is for you to get all the numerical coefficients from the polynomial, from the dividend. So, sa 1x cubed, yan ay 1. And then, followed by positive 7, positive 7, and then negative 6. Sunod na step is to bring down 1, your leading coefficient. Okay, next step is to multiply, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. Then, subtract natin to, 7 minus 2 will give us 5. Multiply ulit, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Subtract natin ulit, magkaiba ng sign, so copy the sign of the bigger number, negative 3. And then multiply ulit, negative 2 times, negative 3 is positive 6. And then subtract ulit, negative 6 plus the 6 is equal to 0. Now remember, yung 0, yung pinakadulo, that's your remainder. So if it says 0, ibig sabihin wala tayong remainder. Now, paano natin ilalagay yung quotient? Now, pakitingnan yung ating leading coefficient dito, or you sorry, yung leading term na x cubed. Kung yan ay nagsisimula sa x cubed, yung inyong final answer ay uh, magsisimula sa x squared. 1 degree um, less than your dividend. So, magiging 1 x squared na to. Tapos, ito na lang ay x, and then your constant. So, your final answer in our first example is x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, example number 2. x cubed plus 7x squared plus 15x plus 14 divided by x plus 3. So, first step ulit natin is to get the value of your c. So, yung x plus 3 natin, i-equate nyo yan sa 0. Tapos, transpose nyo yung positive 3, magiging negative 3. Okay, next step, get all the numerical coefficients from the dividend. So, merong 1, positive 7, positive 15, at positive 14. So, sunod na step is to bring down yung leading coefficient. So, bring down 1. So, not multiply. Negative 3 times 1 ay negative 3. Subtract naman. 7 minus 3 is 4. Multiply ulit. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Subtract ulit. 15 minus 12 is positive 3. Multiply na naman tayo. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. 
And then, subtract ulit, 14 minus 9 will give us 5. So, kung nagsimula tayo sa x cube, dito sa ating final answer, magsisimula tayo sa x squared. Babawasan nyo ng isang degree. So, ito ay x squared. Ito ay x. Ito yung constant. At yung 5 is our remainder. So, final answer natin, x squared plus 4x plus 3 with the remainder 5 over x plus 3, which is our divisor. Okay, let's have our third example, 2x cubed minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2. So, kunin muna natin yung value ng ating C from the divisor. So, yung negative 2, transpose, para makuha natin yung value ng C, which is negative, uh, positive 2. Okay, sunod na step is to get all the numerical coefficients from the dividend. So, meron tayong 2x cubed. Kaya lang, wala tayong x squared. So, lalagyan na lang natin yun ng 0. Minus 5x, minus 7. And then, sunod na step is to bring down your leading coefficient, which is 2. So, no, this to multiply. 2 times 2, that will give us 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. Multiply ulit. 2 times 4, that's 8. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And then, negative 7 plus 6 will give us negative 1. So, yung negative 1, that's our remainder. At kung titingnan nyo yung ating dividend, meron, uh, nag-start siya sa degree 3. So, sa ating quotient, sa final answer natin, magsisimula tayo sa x squared, followed by x, and then our constant. Tapos yung remainder. So, final na answer natin dito is, 2x squared plus 4x plus 3, with the remainder negative 1, over x minus 2. Okay, next example natin. Medyo mahaba-haba siya. So, you have x raised to 4 plus 5x cubed minus 11x squared minus 25x plus 29 divided by x plus 6. Now, pwede siyang humaba as high as x raised to 7. Depende sa binigay ng teacher. So, hanapin natin yung value ng c x plus 6, transpose natin si positive 6, so magiging negative 6 siya dyan. Erase this. Okay, next step is check your dividend. Ang powers ba niya complete? So we have 4, 3, 2, and then you have your x, and then your constant. So let's get the numerical coefficient. So meron tayong 1, x raised to 4, plus 5, x cubed, Minus 11x squared minus 25 plus 29. Okay, so, sunod na step is to bring down the, numer the leading numerical coefficient, which is 1. Sunod, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Magkaiba sila ng sign, subtract, negative 1. Then, multiply ulit, negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. Magkaiba sila ng sign. Negative 11 plus 6, subtract. Negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30. And then, magkaiba ulit si negative 25 at saka si 30 ng sign. So, you need to subtract. Copy the sign of the bigger number, positive 5. Then, multiply ulit. Negative 6 times 5. That will give us negative 30. Then, subtract ulit. 29 minus 30, that will give us negative 1. Okay, so yung negative 1, that's our remainder. At since dito, nagsimula siya sa x raised to 4, yung ating answer, mag-start siya sa x cubed. Susundan ng x squared, tapos x, and then your constant, and then yung dulo will be your remainder. So, final answer natin is, x cubed minus x squared minus 5x plus 5 with the remainder negative 1 over x plus 6. I hope you learned something today. 
Kung nahihirapan, pwede namang ulitin yung video. And don't forget, practice pag may time. And if you find this video helpful, wag ipagdamot ang likes at mag-subscribe na rin. Okay, thank you!